daughter tell you? You said she called you. She. What did your daughter tell you? You said she called you. She was hysterical. She called me and she was hysterical and she told me that there had been a shooting. Um, and um, and she was really too hysterical to give me any other information. Um, so I had to calm her down and find out what happened. She was in um, Mrs. Harper's room when the shooters came in shooting. And she said that two of her classmates took the shooters down, and she was able to escape. What's the point that you heard, or that you realized that this wasn't a drill? Probably when I started hearing screams, because I heard a scream, I think it was from the, uh, I don't know where exactly it was, but I think it was the study hall, which is our high school cafeteria. Okay, so then after all of this happens, how did you end up getting out of there? Um, my dad, who's an officer, raced down here, and he got me out of the building. He got you out. Mm -hmm. he Did got he? And he got. I'm assuming he got some other. Yeah, he kids got out the too. entire class out with an uh, with a team. Did I'm just a bit sh uh, like shaky. I'm scared, but I'm glad that I'm safe and I didn't get hurt. And I'm glad that a lot of people I know didn't get hurt either. Um, I got a call from one of my son's teacher. He's with um, a teacher, and um, he's with her safely. But he was supposedly in the room next to where the shooting happened. He's, and I talked to one of uh, my son's friends moms and she said that um her son was in study hall they heard the shootings and he ran out um and there was somebody who had gotten hit in the shoulder she said um and they were running out so i came out my neighbor was on the porch she um, said somebody was shot down by the mailbox so i ran down there and sure enough there was a young teenage boy um, shot in the back and uh, he was with a friend and another teacher the teacher called his mom the kid's mom i dialed 911 they told me to get him into um, the house, so I picked him up, and me and his friend took him into the house and uh, brought him into the kitchen. Um, the 911 operator said it might be take a little uh, while to get an ambulance there. Was um, he talking to you? Was he, he was. Okay? He was fine. In fact, he wasn't. The 911 asked me to pick up his shirt and see if there were two holes. There was only one, um, and it was barely bleeding at the time. So the kid, um, his friend that was doing, applying the pressure, did a good job. Um, so when he said it, it was going to take a while, I kind of ran out front. I found a police officer. He helped flag down an ambulance. We got him in front of my house, and uh, the ambulance driver came up, and, and we carried him down to the ambulance. So he, he was talking. Um, he seemed okay. He was able to talk to his mom, so I think he'll be fine. I'm amazed that you are as composed as I, you are I, right now. I'm, I'm getting better because, um, you know, I've got two school-age kids at another school, and that's all I could think about. Um, so I'm pretty shooken up right now. Uh, probably adrenaline going through me right now, but um, it was it was a pretty scary, intense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. What the fuck?